Uh, Norm Borg is here from Marino Carlton Raceway. How are you, my friend? I am doing I, great. I, we are so excited. I know. I guess the last time I saw you, I was up in the booth with you when we were doing a little announcing. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. funny. That was a great little thing we did. Yeah. Uh, I think Max Keeping was there that yeah, night. Yeah, we were yeah, doing yeah. a it fundraiser. Was, it was, uh, it was uh, Cornwall night. That's right. Cornwall yeah. night, at the, night at the races. Hey. Yeah, see, I remember that. Yeah, well, that's a good time. Speaking of nights at the races, uh, this weekend is a big, big weekend. Yeah, it's a Des Smith Classic, 31st annual. We've been doing it uh, what, over three decades, obviously. Yeah. Uh, but what really makes it special is, A, the quality of the horses that come. These are uh, some of the best, what we call, age pacers. In other words, they're four-year-old and up uh, in North America. Yeah. And, and this particular uh, Des Smith, we've, it, it's so special because not only do we have a horse that just three weeks ago equaled the world record mm -hmm. for a mile, over a 5 8 track, and we'll get to that later, uh, in, in the form of Better Than Cheddar. Uh -huh. But his biggest nemesis lately is a horse aptly named Foiled Again. Uh -huh. And Foiled Again is going to be there as well. Both so, horses are in the race. Both horses are in the race. And what's really interesting is Better Than Cheddar wins, say, an elimination, mm -hmm. gets to the final of a big one, gets beat by Foiled Again. Right. And this has happened, I think, twice. But... Uh, right now, better than Cheddar is in just top form. Really? And uh, yeah, I don't know if we're going to look at some footage of that I, or not. I, but, I was uh, like uh, horse name. We are actually. I always like horse names. Better than Cheddar is a good name. Here we yeah, go. Yeah. 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 There's a look at uh, better than Cheddar just three weeks ago at the Ben Franklin uh, Pace Big Money event. And uh, here's what's interesting to note. If you've never been to a harness race, you're going to see that better than Cheddar gets what we call parked out, meaning he's stuck on the outside. And you say, well, what does that matter? It matters a lot because if you're going around in an oval and you're on the outside lane, you're going f uh, further. You're a going whole lot further, a whole lot actually. Further. Exactly. And not only that, but in harness racing as opposed to thoroughbred racing, of course, you've got the bike. Yeah, the, the so it's harder to, to get uh, through the pack. Right, you got drag to deal with, there's uh, there's physics involved, and a horse is bound to be tired. Uh, but this this was a phenomenal performance by a horse that's only four years old. Now, now normally horses don't fully mature until they're about six, say seven. Yeah. And that's the average age of most of the other horses in this field. Uh, but, and you can see better than Cheddar, there he's he being sent on the outside here. There he goes. And they're, they're really moving at this point. Now, you mentioned uh, uh, Rito Carlton is a five-eighths of a mile track. That's right, and so that's what, what that is there, too. Exactly. So what happens is they start at a certain point, and right. you just go an extra... Uh, three. Uh, yeah, it's it's once and a half around the track. Yeah, basically. It's three eighths yeah. of a mile, right? Right. So to make up the full mile. Yeah. I've actually been in the pace car. Isn't that something? It is super cool. Close as you can come to being in a race without losing an eye. Exactly. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. And actually, at Rito Carlton, you can do that. Yeah. You can get in the pace car and yeah. uh, you book a spot and get a group together. Yeah. And away you go. It's so much fun. It's such a fun experience. And, and the beautiful thing is you don't have to be a big, heavy hitting gambler. No. And you don't have to know the inside baseball sp uh, stuff that, you is know, it racing easy to like do? I know get. it's easy to do. And I only place like $2 bets or then whatever. Yeah. And I'm not, I'm not a gambling guy, but it's a lot of fun to see if your horse wins. Yeah, yeah. This is the thrill of cashing a ticket. Yeah, really, yeah. You, know. you can get a lot of info there if you're, uh, you yeah. want to get more info on how to read the card and yeah. the program and all that, which is uh, not, you know, not everybody knows. But That's a right. lot of people there to help you out. Oh, sure. I mean, you, you can go to any one of our Red Hat girls that are uh, portable ticket sellers. They can tell you. Yeah. Heck, our waiters and waitresses in the dining room, which will be open, of course, uh, with our 100-item dinner with Faith. I thought I'd get that in. Uh, we'll, be there to, we'll be there to help you as well. Um, like I said, there's a lot of inside baseball stuff that we, we don't want you coming to the track and feeling like you just came out of a budget meeting with Dalton McGinty. Exactly. Whoa. Anyway, uh, so we want to make this as simple it's as we simple. can. It's pretty simple. It's easy. Yeah. Um, listen, have yourself a great time. And by the way, the buffet is yeah, look what happened to me. I've been here six years. I did make weight at one time. <laughs> Rito Carlton Raceway, big time racing uh, this weekend. Uh, check out their schedule. Seriously, go to the buffet when you do. It's fun. A lot of fun.